Greetings and welcome. My name is Luce Emma Cañas Mandrigal, but you may call me Miss Luce, and I am a teaching artist in Capoeira Angola, which is an Afro-Brazilian martial art with origins in Central Africa, and Rhythm and Breath, which is Kundalini-based yoga, which uh, has origins in ancient Egypt. And kundalini is creative energy that lies at the base of the spine. Uh, when we do certain exercises and breath work and hand positions, uh, we help break the blockages in our chakra system. If you remember, chakras are energy for vortices that lie along the spine uh, that you may not be able to see, but you can sometimes feel the effects of when they are imbalanced, um, which is out of balance, and it may cause illness or it may cause um, emotional imbalances as well. To tune in, we will start with the Adi Mantra Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo. If you remember, a mantra is an incantation, which is a word or a group of words that form a sentence which puts a certain thought vibration out into the world. So have you ever um, heard of the phrase, what comes around goes around? Or what you put out comes back to you? Um, that is what a uh, mantra um, does. So we are going to rub our hands together. If you remember, we have meridians in our hands and the soles of our feet, which is why we practice yoga barefoot. Um, if you can and are able to, of course, and for those of you in chairs, you may um, practice seated, that is fine. And if you like, you can listen to me chant uh, the first time and jump in on the second and third. Or if you're already comfortable um, because you have been with me in previous sessions, you can inhale with me and begin. So <clears throat> inhaling and exhaling. Now inhaling and let's begin. Inhale and hold on to the breath for 10 counts. chin into your chest, take your head back and around, gently stretching your neck, inhale and exhale. 
breathing through your nose, releasing any tension that you might have in your neck and your shoulders. Sometimes when we have a lot of tension in our head and our neck, we get headaches. If any of you have migraines, which are really bad headaches, you can do this to help alleviate some of your pain. <clears throat> Now reverse, opposite direction. Inhale, take your head back. Exhale, around. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, and exhale. And bring your head back to center. Now our shoulders, shoulders up, inhale. Exhale, drop them down, inhale up. Exhale, drop them down, inhale up. Exhale, drop them down, inhale up. Exhale, drop them down. 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 Last one, inhale up. Exhale. Drop them down. Now one shoulder up, the other down. Inhale. Exhale, other side. Inhale. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Both up. Inhale. Exhale. Drop both down. I'm going to turn sideways. And we are going to do our knees. So you can put your hands on your knees and do outside circles. Two, three, four, and five. And reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. And wiggle your knees out and in with your legs. Sitting up tall. Doing rotations with your feet, stretching your ankles. Make sure that you point all the way down to your toes. If you catch a cramp, you can stand up, walk it off, massage your foot. Now reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's point and flex both feet. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. We are going to put the soles of our feet together. Butterfly sit. Sit tall. Inhale. Exhale. Round over. Rounding over. Bringing your forehead to your feet. Breathing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly round yourself up, stretching one leg in front of you with the sole of your foot on the inside of your thigh. As you can see, it looks like a four. And we're going to try to reach for our big toe. If you can't reach your toes, that's fine. Reach for your knee or your shin, and we are going to try to wrap our index and our middle finger around our thumb Inhale, exhale, reaching for your thumbnail, pressing it with your thumb, relaxing your head over. Make sure that your neck is relaxed. Shake your head no, nod your head yes. Long deep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And slowly come up. Now the other side, stretching the other leg and bending your opposite leg that you haven't done yet, reaching for your toe with your index and your middle finger. Inhale, exhale, reaching for your toe. And once again, if you can't reach your toe, that's fine. Reach for your knee or your shin. And if you're in a chair, extending one leg at a time, be careful as you stretch round over, relaxing your neck and your back and your Hamstring, which is the back of your leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And 
and slowly come up. Now stretching both legs, we're going to do the same thing, reaching for our toes with our index and our middle finger. Inhale, exhale, trying to keep our legs as straight as possible and our neck as relaxed as possible. I know this isn't uncomfortable, but try to breathe through it. Shake your head no, nod your head yes. Try to get those legs straight. Long deep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And slowly. Turn back to front and continuing our lessons on the chakra system. The next chakra we are going to um, learn is the heart chakra. So the heart chakra, um, and remember, chakras are similar to pinwheels. Um, they're energy vortices that lie along the spine. So we covered the root. We did the sacral, navel, and now the heart. So the uh, color associated with the heart chakra is green. And um, the quality is love. Um, so we are going to do an asana, which if you remember is an exercise, to open up our hearts. So it's similar to a back bend, um, and we are going to come onto our knees. But before we do that, we are going to review our breath of fire. So remember, uh, breath of fire is a pranayama, which is a um, breathing technique or breath work. And if you remember, it heats up our body um, similar to a thermometer. If we think of our um, spinal column as a thermometer with uh, the kundalini energy at the base of our spine, if we think of like a little fire being brewed at the bottom, that it lifts the energy up the chakra system and breaks any blockages that we might have, um, creating any imbalances in our body or our mind. And um, yes, yeah, so that we could have a more uh, content and happier life. Um, yes, that's why we do yoga. So we are going to practice our breath of fire. So moving your stomach just out and in, out and in, out and in, practicing engaging your abdominals, which are your stomach muscles. So just going out and in, trying to practice getting control of your body and your muscles. So now we are going to add the breathing technique, which is opposite of what we might do naturally. We are going to inhale and stick your stomach out if you need to look at it to make it happen. And then exhale, suck it in. Inhale, suck it in, stick it out. Exhale, suck it in. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So let's just do that um, for a little bit just to get the hang of it. If you need to look, to make sure that it's happening. Sometimes your mind doesn't translate everything to your body, and that's fine. And that's why we're here, practicing. So once you get the hold of that, we are going to come to our knees. So coming onto your knees, if you're able to, um, if this is uncomfortable, for you. Um, you may sit with your legs crossed or if you are in a chair, that's fine. You can put your hands on your lower back. We're just going to do a little modified back bend. But if you can come onto your knees, we are going to do camel pose. Um, we're just going to practice the position without um, breath of fire first, just so that we can get 
the hang of the position. It's not the easiest position, but it does open up our hearts and hopefully break any blockages that we might have that might be um, making it hard for us to give love or receive love. So we're going to do camel pose. So we're going to inhale, lift your arms above your head, and then you're gonna exhale and try to reach for your heels. So you're doing a back bend. If this is difficult for you, I'm gonna roll out of it like that. You can put your hands on your lower back, lift in your chest, and just do a back bend like so. So we are going to do that for 10 counts. Inhale, and do what you can. Either reach for your heels or your lower back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and roll out of it. We are going to come into child's pose, which is rounding over, bringing our forehead to the mat and our arms outstretched in front of us. You can bring your feet together and have your knees out. Long deep breathing, relaxing, and we are gonna come back onto our knees. And now we are going to do camel with breath of fire. So this makes it a little bit more challenging, um, but you'll feel your body warming up, hopefully breaking um, any blockages that you might have in your chakra system. And we're going to lift our arms up over our heads, reaching for our heels or our lower back, and breath of fire. Now roll out of it and coming into child's pose, sitting on your heels, arms outstretched in front of you, relaxing, long deep breathing. And slowly coming up. And we are going to close this session as we close all of our sessions with three long Sat Nams. Sat Nam means truth is my identity and it is chanted on one breath. So if you are um, already used to chanting, you can jump in with me in the beginning. And if not, you can listen to the first one and jump in on the second and the third, or if you'd like, if you feel awkward still chanting, that's fine. You could just close your eyes and listen to the mantra as we close out this session. So rubbing your hands again and pressing your thumbs against your sternum. Your shoulders are rolled back and down. And I'm gonna inhale once and exhale. Until we meet again, Satnam.